welcome to the 22-23 season announcement. I'm Danny Hoskins, Artistic and Managing Director. And I'm Mary Tabali Hoffman, Development Director. And we are thrilled to share with you our 73rd season in downtown Rochester. Now we all know we've had a rough couple of years and uh, it's been a roller coaster if nothing else, but we are so excited to get back to stories we were telling pre-pandemic where we have some big stories, some big shows, and we can't wait to share them with you. Yes, our play selection committee has been hard at work scheming for you all year long. And so we've selected together with them seven shows for you that we think you're going to love. So without further ado, here it is, your 22-23 season. Our summer program for high school and college artists, the Blackfriars Theater Summer Intensive, returns to the Main Street Theater with everyone's favorite musical, Susical the Musical. Horton the Elephant hears a noise coming from a speck of dust on a clover and commits himself to protecting it and the Who's who live on it. Jojo, a misfit Who, who doesn't think normal thinks, struggles to find his place in the tiny Who society. And Gertrude McFuzz tries to catch the attention of her love, the kind and compassionate Horton. Through mishaps and adventures, these unique characters finally find what they seek, their places in the world. We kick off the season with Monty Python Spamalot. Lovingly ripped off from the classic film comedy Monty Python and the Holy Grail, Monty Python Spamalot retells the legend of King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table and features a bevy of beautiful showgirls, not to mention cows, killer rabbits, and flatulent French people. The 2005 Broadway production won three Tony Awards, including Best Musical, and this show was the clear winner of the 2021 season soiree by over 100 votes. We are thrilled to return to big musicals to open our season and can't wait to fill the theater with your raucous laughter. From Obie and Helen Hayes Award winner Robert O'Hara comes our second selection of the season, Barbecue. The grill is hot, the beer is chilled, and the table is set for a typical O'Mallory family barbecue. But when their drug-addicted sister, Zippity Boom, arrives strung out and out of control, her siblings have finally had enough. Their ham-handed intervention ignites the fuse of this raucous and rollicking new comedy that skewers our warped view of the American family. In partnership with the Bronze Collective, this barbecue serves up a healthy helping of sibling love and loathing. For the holidays, we're bringing back one of our favorites that got lost in the pandemic. Miss Bennett, Christmas at Pemberley. This Christmas, cozy up with your favorite Pride and Prejudice characters at Pemberley, the grand estate of newlyweds Mr. and Mrs. Darcy. Middle daughter Mary Bennett, bookish and often overshadowed by her sisters, blossoms when a curious visitor proves himself an intellectual match, kindred spirit, and possibly more. Told with modern wit and period style, this effervescent comedic sequel to one of the most beloved literary romances of all time will enchant Austin fans and newcomers alike. And also of note, if you loved last season's Silent Sky, Pemberley is also by Lauren Gunderson, one of the most produced female playwrights of our time. Every season, there's one title that is a joyous, unanimous vote from our team, and this year, the absolute brightness of Leonard Pelkey won our hearts unequivocally. One actor portrays every character in a small Jersey Shore town as he unravels the story of Leonard Pelkey, a tenaciously optimistic and flamboyant 14-year-old boy who goes missing. A luminous force of nature whose magic is only truly felt once he is gone, Leonard becomes an unexpected inspiration as the town's citizens question how they live, who they love, and what they leave behind. And we're thrilled to have BT artist Mark D'Amico return to the stage this season to perform the absolute brightness of Leonard Pelkey. An audience and artist favorite alike, Lynn Ahrens and Stephen Flaherty's Once on This Island hits the boards in March 2023. Once on This Island is the sweeping universal tale of Timoon, a fearless peasant girl in search of her place in the world and ready to risk it all for love. Guided by the mighty island gods, Timoon sets out on a remarkable journey to reunite with the man who has captured her heart. This highly original and theatrical Caribbean adaptation of the popular fairy tale, The Little Mermaid, garnered eight Tony nominations for its Broadway run, including Best Musical, Book, and Score. 
Just in time for Mother's Day comes our final selection of the season, Cry It Out. Cooped up on maternity leave and starved for conversation, Jessie invites her funny and forthright neighbor, Lena, also a new mom, for coffee on the patio between their duplexes. Despite their vastly different finances, they become fast friends during nap times, while a mysterious someone watches from the mansion on the cliff overlooking Jessie's yard. This comedy with dark edges takes an honest look at the absurdities of being home with a baby, the dilemma of returning to work, and how class impacts parenthood and friendship. So there you go. There's our 22-23 season. We are so thrilled to bring these stories to our stage and we hope you'll join us. Single tickets go on sale August 1st, but in the meantime, you can become a subscriber. Visit blackfriars.org. Subscriptions go on sale. Just a reminder, subscribers get free exchanges, you get advanced seating, you get discounts on any additional tickets you get. So visit blackfriars.org and become a subscriber today to lock in the very best seats and the very best prices for next season. And while you're there, just click on the donate button, add a little donation to your transaction and any gift you give will be doubled thanks to the Pace Family Fund between now and June 30th, blackfriars.org. And we have one more announcement. As of August 1st, I will be stepping down as Artistic and Managing Director of Blackfriars Theater and taking a full-time assistant professor position at SUNY Brockport. Um, my heart is here. My heart has always been here. Uh, I love this theater and I will be back to support it and be a part of it. I have been grateful for the past seven years to work with my staff, <laughs> uh, our volunteers, our crew, our artists, and to get to know our patrons. And I love this place and uh, you can't keep me away from it. So I will be back, but I am grateful for all of you, uh, everything that you've given to me over the past seven seasons. And I'm thrilled that I was part of uh, curating this next season, which I'm so excited for. And I look forward to seeing the next era and the next journey for Blackfriars Theater. Yes. I hope you will join me in wishing Danny all the best in his new adventure. It truly is the end of an era here at Blackfriars, but that means it's the beginning of an exciting new era. So stay tuned for more information about who's going to become my right-hand man or woman. Thank you very much. And uh, we're just excited for the year ahead and all of the untold adventures that we'll have together. I hope you join us, blackfriars.org, um, and we'll see you very soon. See you at the theater.